YouTube Oz Echo in the Goat House is back. And we're heading into NFL Week 14. We're actually one game down. Rams beat the Patriots last night. Uh, we got playoff predictions. Updated playoff predictions. I got mine. Pigskin's got his. So maybe some differences here uh, could uh, keep some fan bases happy. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to piss some off. You're going to piss some off. You know, we're going to go. We'll see. We're probably going to get ripped in the comments. That's all right, though. It's okay. Um, once playoffs are actually here, we'll have more predictions, week-by-week -week predictions. We got you covered every single week, even in the offseason. So if you're new, please subscribe. Follow that Twitter. It's a must-follow. It's on your screen right now. There's a link down below. Constant NFL talk. We got polls. Uh, we're talking during live games. So, yeah, it's a must-follow. Instagram, podcast, Patreon. Links down below for that as well. You see underneath us right now the Sided app. Uh, pretty cool app. You uh, debate football, get points, and win gift cards. Link down below. Check it out. Pretty cool. Uh, I mentioned that Patreon, bunch of extra content there. Uh, junior score predictions, my bets of the week for NFL, college football, college football score predictions, updated playoff predictions like these, but we've been doing them every single week uh, on, on the Patreon. So a lot of people showing their support. You're awesome. Uh, if, if you're new, go ahead and check it out. Link down below. Uh, to the playoff predictions. So these are mine. These are mine first. We're going to start with me. Let me have it in the comments all you want. Um, so I predicted each game the rest of the way. That's kind of the tough part because nobody's going to be perfect the rest of the way predicting the game. So one thing can change. Just some real quick things I wanted to point out here. Uh, I did have the Ravens being the Browns this week, but that's a 50-50 game. It could go either way. Uh, I'm really on the fence about that. So if the Browns win that, you see what happens. The Browns jump up there. Uh, what is it, the five seed? The Ravens are six. Um, that could go either way. Uh, I, the Ravens' rest of the schedule looks pretty good. Um, I had the Titans winning the South. Uh, Dolphins and Raiders kind of just missed the cut for me. Looking at the NFC, the Vikings kind of choked their uh, uh, seed away, as expected almost. Uh, the Saints grabbing that one seed. Washington, football, uh, football, yeah, the football team versus the football Giants, uh, very close, back and forth on that. Uh, I think this week, because this week I had them both losing actually in what I call 50-50 games. And uh, if if the Giants win and Washington loses, then I have the Giants winning division. If it's the opposite, I have Washington. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a tough one. And I had three NFC West teams making out. Uh, the Rams actually winning. They're looking pretty good. Uh, but we go to my playoffs where I actually can predict the playoffs here using playoffpredictors.com. Ravens, Bills in the first round. I think the Ravens are about to heat up. I could be wrong. We'll see how they do against the Browns this week. It's a tough game either way. Uh, but I think they're kind of going to go back to playing, you know, the, the uh, offensively. Their game last year, uh, the way they were playing last year. The Bills are heating up right now, too. We've seen them go on a little bit of a streak early, then they got cold. Are we going to get that cold streak again at the wrong time? Um, I think the Bills' defense is heating up. I think the Ravens' defense is actually – Ah, I like the, I really the offense setting, but the defense is still very good, but it's kind of going down a little bit. Um, so I think pretty close to even defenses when it, when we come to this time. I like the Bills' offense a little better. I'm going to take the Bills. Um, this one's kind of funny because the Browns and the Titans just played, and the Browns dominated them. But And that's why it's kind of funny because I'm actually going to take the Titans. I'm sure I'm going to get ripped in the comments for that because I know the Browns just dominated them. Um, you can't base things off the last matchup, you know, um, we got ads popping up. We got free advertisement going on right now. Uh, you know, I mean, even look at the Titans. The first time they played the Colts first two weeks later, the second time they played them, that's really not why I'm picking them here. But I think Derrick Henry kind of had a bad game against the Browns first time and the Browns were hot in the passing game. Uh, I think there's a slight differences that changes the entire game, uh, in Tennessee, the play playoff atmosphere. I do like the Browns. Browns are a very solid team. Um, they got a bright, bright future. I'm, I'm thinking in the rematch Titans, but it's, it's a toss up. I like the chiefs over the Colts. Uh, the chiefs are going to in this atmosphere, you know, in the playoffs, chiefs are going to score on pretty much anybody. I know the Colts got a strong defense. Can the Colts keep up? Chiefs also have a playmaking defense can get those turnovers. Uh, we got Buccaneers. We got Washington football team. Um, I'm going to take the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are going to heat up at this time. Uh, I think they're pretty close to even on defense. Maybe Washington's a little better. I'm just going to trust the Buccaneers offense. A bit more. Seahawks, Rams. Love the way the Rams are playing right now. Seahawks, love Russell Wilson. Love the offense. Defense is, is slightly getting better. Uh, I see the Rams are too balanced for them. You know, I think uh, they have the defense to slow down, not really stop, even though the Giants pretty much stopped Russell Wilson and company. Rams will slow them down. They'll also be able to move the ball 
I like the Rams. Cardinals, Packers, the Cardinals are cold right now. I think they'll start to heat up a little bit. Uh, they have that crazy rushing attack with, between their quarterback, Kyler Murray, and their running backs, Drake and Edmonds, which could be a problem for the Packers uh, because the Packers' run defense isn't too good. So that could be a problem. Cardinals, ah, too young, too inexperienced, not in love with Kingsbury's game management play calling right now. Uh, they'll be able to run pretty well in this game. Uh, but I don't know if I fully trust the Cardinals on offense or defense to give a complete game in the playoffs. I trust the Packers' offense in Lambeau, in the cold, to get the job done here. Um, next round, Titans Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Uh, they'll have a day offensively. We're pretty worried about the Titans defense in uh, in the t- game like this. It'll probably be a shootout. I like the Titans offense in a game like this. I just trust the Chiefs offense a little more. Bills, Steelers, uh, they play this week. They play this week, and I actually picked the Steelers uh, here in week 14 in the 50-50 game. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to get a little wild here. It's not that wild. Um, at this point, I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going to take the Bills, and you would think the Steelers have more experience. It's, it's true. Bills actually looked pretty good in their playoff game last year. They got experience. I thought they, sh- they played well enough to win the, that game against Texans. So that, that's some experience that helps. I just think the Steelers from early in the year till now, they've worn down a little bit. They've actually have, they have some injuries. Bud Dupree is going to show more and more how much they're going to miss him. Uh, Big Ben could, it, could have some wear in him. He's still going to be playing solid. Um, there are some flaws to Steelers offense too. They're, they're showing with the run game going. They're dropping the ball. Uh, the injuries, like I said, a little bit of wear. Josh Allen and company, they're getting better. They're getting better. Stephon Diggs, you know, developing that chemistry. They're getting better. Defense is getting better. I take the Bills. Rams and Packers, really good game. Two potential NFC heavyweights. Um, I, I just, I play the matchup game here. The matchup favors one team by a long shot to me. That's the Rams. The Rams are going to come out and pound the football. They're getting Cam Akers going. Packers struggle to stop the run. They'll have their hands full stopping Kyler Murray and company in the first round. The Rams will pound the football. They throw a lot of quick underneath balls, and that will be a weakness of the Packers as well. And they have the defense to not stop, but they have a very good defense. It could be the best defensive football at this time of the year. They have it to slow down the Packers enough while they'll have a day controlling the clock and the ground on offense. I think that's a terrible matchup for the Packers. Uh, you know, If they somehow avoid the Rams, they could very well go to the Super Bowl. Saints-Buccaneers. The Saints whomped them twice. The last time was a big-time whomp, and I do think the Buccaneers are getting better. I think they will get better, actually, I should say. Um, the Saints, what's their quarterback situation? Taysom Hill's actually getting better, but Drew Brees is going to come back in. Um, you know, is is it going to be 100% Drew? You know, is, is he going to be 100%, I mean? Is he going to be okay? Is he going to be all right? It's hard to beat a team three times. They have a, a great matchup. Uh, I guess the Buccaneers have a matchup problem against the Saints, but it's, it's going to be tougher – uh, to beat a team a th- th- the third time, it's a lot harder than people think. The Saints will realize that. Uh, but I'm still going to go with the Saints. They're getting better right now. Their defense is looking really good. Uh, I do worry about the quarterback situation a little bit. I don't. Okay, if, if Breeze isn't 100%, I still think he plays well enough. He's still good enough. It's just something in the back of my mind. How will he be? I just like the Saints. They're the better football team right now. Buccaneers feel too new. Uh, they can't handle this defense, it seems like. so. Uh, but, again, it's tough to beat a team three times, so that would be impressive. Uh, next, Bills and Chiefs. Pete's over here just staying quiet, listening to me go yeah. on. Uh, Bills and Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs. Uh, Bills are sneaky, but uh, the, the Chiefs just at offense. When they, when they really want to, they're, gonna, they're, they're almost impossible to get stopped. I don't even know what to do with this one. NFC Championship game, Rams versus Saints, two hottest defenses in football. So at this point, Bills, Chiefs, Rams, Saints, the two best defenses in football, in my opinion. Um, and they both feel like they're getting better. So it's going to be a low-scoring game. It's going to be extremely, extremely low-scoring. Um, it's going to come down to what offense can make that extra play or what, what defense can actually score, make that extra play. It's tough. Um, each NFC team, even though I like a lot of them, they have their flaws. They have their flaws. The Rams is turnovers. Can they handle the turn? Can they keep control of those turnovers? The Saints is. It's kind of a mystery at quarterback. Right now, their backups in. They're getting better while their backups in. Drew Brees is definitely better than Taysom Hill. Is he going to be 100% Drew Brees? Is he going to be the guy? So that's why this is so tough. I actually like the Rams defense slightly, slightly better. But I think I trust the Saints off. The, the Rams offense might be more explosive, but I, I, I think the Saints control. Uh, I, I could change my mind on this at any given time. I trust the Saints to take care of the ball. The Rams got to go game after game after game. 
without turning the ball over and blowing blowing the game, which could happen at any time. So I'm going to take the Saints. It's extremely tough, though. I, I love this Rams team. Very balanced. Love the defense. Chiefs, Saints, Super Bowl. I mean, I, I mean, I picked the Chiefs preseason last year. It worked out. I picked them preseason this year, and I'm, I got to stick with it. I think they're the better team. I think the AFC is better than the NFC. But the NFC has got a wide variety of teams that can play. Um, you know, there's some questions about any NFC team that I would have in the spot. Uh, Saints, Rams, Bucks, Packers. There's some questions. There's some flaws. Can they that stay that consistent and hide their flaws to this point? So it's going to be tough to beat a team like the Chiefs or even if it's a team like the Bills. It's just one example of many. Uh, so I like the AFC. AFC, I, I like the Chiefs here. That's who I'm taking. I'm going to shut up now. We're going to go over to Pete. Um, yeah. Yeah. A little different. You got <clears throat> Go ahead. Just go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I have the same as you. I have the Ravens and Browns getting in. I have the Ravens. Uh, catching the Browns just like you did. I think they have a favorable schedule. We both picked them for Monday night against the Browns. That Again, like you said, that could go either way. But uh, I like the Ravens' schedule. I, I think they're going to turn it on towards the end of the year. I have them winning out here. Uh, wow. So, yeah, I think that's what I had to Looks too, pretty fair, favorable. Uh, the Titans win the division. Uh, I, have, I don't think they're going to win out like you had them. I have them losing – to the Texans that last game, they usually get torched by Deshaun Watson. So yeah, I ex- I'm a little scared about having one out because there's like it's one of those teams where you know they'll probably lose one. I just couldn't find one. I love, I know the pe- most people will probably point towards the Packers. I just love the way they match up with the Packers. I just love the way they do. But yeah, like you said, they, they could lose that tech. They can lose that Texans game last game of the year. Um, Colts had ten and six. They had a. They had, I mean, they had a tough couple tough games. I think. They got a little lucky with the Texans game last week, and I, I don't think they catch a break again. I think the Texans are going to come out for revenge in that short week. Usually those games split, or the the, the short distance between the two games. Uh, then they have the Steelers after that, which is going to be tough as well. So they're 10-6. Yeah, the and six. Um, The Bills have a pretty favorable schedule. I haven't beaten the Steelers. Uh, the, it really comes down to we know the Chiefs are going to be very good, uh, but it comes down to the Dolphins and the Raiders. They play each other in – what is that, week 15? So that would put the Dolphins in if you... Yeah, right. so it's really just that, I think that head-to-head matchup gets that that final wild card spot. Even though, are they the sixth seed for me, though? The Raiders' sixth seed, yeah. Well, the Dol- I didn't have either yeah. of those teams in. Um, I don't know, I just think, I trust the Raiders a little more. I trust Gruden a little bit more. The Dolphins are still young. They have a young head coach. Um, Raiders are at home in that game against the Dolphins, too. That's why I have them. But again, that could that could change. we got to see how these teams play. Uh, this week coming up in the next in the week after that. So NFC, yeah, some differences. You got the Giants out of Washington. I'm glad you did that because I'm fifty fifty on that one. Yeah, I don't know. Just the schedules. I have the Giants beating the Browns actually. Um Ooh. I just kinda have a a feeling about it. I have them losing to the Cardinals this week. Daniel Jones seems questionable. I'm just not sure about how well he's gonna play. Um but I do have the Ravens beating them. And then they play the Cowboys that last week. It'd be nice if it was a Giants, Giants Washington uh, game that last week. That'd be uh-huh. pretty sweet. But Giants took care of them twice. That did. sure helps. Uh, Washington, I have them finishing seven and nine too. Uh, just Giants, Giants beat them twice, so they get that, they get that uh, that tiebreaker there. And you got the Niners sneaking in, not yeah. the Cardinals, not well, the Vikings. I'm a big Niners guy. I'm winning out. Uh, I haven't beaten Washington this week. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, that's but, tough, though. But the rest of their schedule isn't too bad. Like, the Cowboys, they could handle. The Cardinals, I think they, they get some payback on them. It's this been a while possible, since they played. But I could and also the, see them losing to Washington, I, Arizona, yeah, could, and Seattle. Could. I'm, I'm feeling or Arizona them. and Seattle. I have them beating I'm feeling Washington. them. They're getting, they're getting healthier and healthier. It sounds like Kittle is almost getting ready to, to play, too. Um, I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that they – they could pull it off here. I don't. I don't know. I I like them better than the Cardinals. All right. So you're and you got the Rams winning just like I did. They're heating up. You got the playoffs. You got Ravens at Titans oh. in the first round. Um, Titans I mean, beat them in the playoffs last year, and they beat them in overtime in the regular season you this think, year. You would think that uh, like the Ravens would win one, but I I just have I think the Titans just have their just have their number. I don't know. I just think that it's just too hard. It's just the Ravens can't beat them. Uh, Bills, Raiders, I'm going to have to go with the Bills here at home. If that place is going to be, even with the, the short amount of fans, it, it'll be pretty crazy playing there this late in, this, in, the, in the season. Um, 
And then Steelers over the Browns here at home. So all the favorites are winning in the AFC. Oh, the Bucks giants rematch. We saw a battle. Yeah. Last play of the game it came down to uh, when they played each other. Yeah. Uh, give me the Giants, actually, oh. at home. Um, I don't know. I, I saw something that uh, – there's been two teams in NFL history that have won, who have like won their division and made the playoffs with a losing record, and both teams won the first round of the playoffs. So I just have a feeling that's going to keep going. The Bucks have, again, like you said, it was a, it, they already played. It was a close game, but I think the Giants pull it off at home here in a squeaker. Uh, squeaker. Seahawks at Rams. Seahawks, Rams. I have to go with the Rams. That, that's another one where. The Rams just have their number there. It's just I don't know why, but the, they the, can't Seahawks, beat the Seahawks cannot beat. And now the Rams the got Rams. a better. That's the thing they couldn't beat McVay because their offense. And now all of a sudden the Rams have one of the best defenses in football. So that's a tough matchup. Niners Packers rematch from NFC Championship. Going with the Packers though. Um, I, again, I I think Niners kind of squeak in. Whoever's at seven seed is going to be kind of barely getting in. They're probably not uh, good enough to to handle the rest of the kind of the, the playoff teams there. So next round, who oh, we got? We have the same matchups here, just different seeding, I think. You had you had the Chiefs getting the two seed and the Titans getting the three seed, and you had the Steelers getting the one seed and the Bills getting right. the four. I got the Steelers winning. I have the Bills winning this week. Oh. But I think the Steelers will win the second time playing there. And then I got to go with the Chiefs again over the Titans. Uh, I, I just think they're the best team Right now, by far, ooh, Packers Rams. That's a that's a tough one right there. Ooh, I'm gonna go with the Saints. I know that. I'm gonna go with the Saints there. Uh, man, I don't know. I I just with the Packers, I worry about their defense, and then with the Rams, I just worry about Jared Goff turning the ball over. That's kind of the big thing with with the Rams that scares me. Yeah, the mat. Like I said, I picked the Rams because I like to play the matchup. I think the match matchup heavily, fa- heavily fa- favors them. Uh, but yeah, could it be just the difference of the quarterbacks in Lambeau, Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go with the Packers. I like Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs at home, and it's gonna be a Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Ooh. and a Big Ben versus Patrick Mahomes. Got to go with Mahomes there in the Chiefs. Uh, this is tough too. I think I think the Saint. I don't know the Saints really. I always pick them, and they always blow it in the playoffs. Yeah, that's why I was hesitant. I think I'm going to go with the Packers here to to win in a close one. And we'll have Packers, Chiefs. Going to go with the Chiefs here in the Super Bowl. Both of us with the Chiefs, a little different. I I just love this NFC because anybody, I think, could win. It's just all about the matchup, who you're playing. Um, If one seed's different, you know, if if something's different, then the whole thing can just blow up, change. So, NFC is something I change my mind on probably every day, which I guess is a flaw of mine, but that's just how it is. And I, I'm very excited for uh, the playoffs in general. And, uh, yeah, we'll have you covered to that fully like we do. There's the bracket. Uh, yeah, there's your bracket. Just the AFC? Or the NFC's nah, on NFC's the NFC's down here. Yeah. Um, but that's going to wrap up our playoff predictions here heading into week 14. Uh, a lot of things will probably change depending on injuries and some upsets that will occur still throughout the rest of the year. Uh, but, yeah, we have full coverage every single week, even in the offseason. So smash that like button, subscribe to us, follow our Twitter. Uh, be much appreciated if you can help us out there. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. Now, thanks for watching. Goodbye.